I was fairly new to working out on the missile sites. At the age of 19, you know, you've got that no fear mentality. Right above us was a nine megaton thermonuclear warhead. To see the magnitude of that weapon within 10 feet from you, it was a monster waiting to go off. And you think about working on a, a weapon of mass destruction, you're counting on everything to work perfect all the time. And things just don't work perfect all the time. in the silo are just climbing and climbing and climbing. We need to get the hell out of this complex because this thing's going to blow up. Do we let the world know? Do I run out and say, we got a potential nuclear explosion? What do you do? That day, September 18th, it, it was basically five days before my 24th birthday. So I was 23. Lieutenant Childers was 24 as the deputy. When we went on alert in a Titan system, uh, we were on alert uh, for 24 hours. That's what a tour was, 24 hours. We had 18 silos spread all the way out to the eastern corner of Arkansas. We went to a complex where there was supposed to be very little maintenance, and that was 4-7. We went up the main highway to a certain point, and then you had to pull off of the highway onto much smaller roads. Until you came over a particular rise, you wouldn't even know that the missile complex was there. as we drove up to Missile Complex 47. It's very unassuming. There's not a lot there. There's this huge door, and there's some antennas. However, underneath that door was the most powerful warhead that the US has ever operated. Before you left the base, they gave you some codes that gave you access to the complex. MCC, what is your IDEN code? IDEN code is Alpha, Niner, Victor. You would read the code to the commander, and then you would take a lighter, set the codes on fire, and drop them down into a box so they would burn up, and no one else could use those codes. All four of the crew members went down three flights of stairs. At the bottom of that, you got to a blast door. There were a series of blast doors, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you'd walk through this and you'd step into the middle level of the launch control center with all of the equipment that you needed to maintain the missile. When we took charge of a complex, that meant that we owned that missile until the next crew came out. So if we went to war, we were prepared to launch those weapons on command. 
Apps power, silo soft, guidance go. We're standing by for fire engine. We never knew what our specific targets were because you didn't want, really want to know who you were going to destroy. Turning on my command of ready turn keys on the word keys, we will turn. Is the crew ready? It be met? Ready. MFT? MFT ready. Deputy? Deputy ready. Crew is ready. Ready? You had to be prepared to destroy an entire civilization. And we were trained on that. I still today refer to myself and other missileers as crew dogs. You uh, had to almost be uh, rote in your actions and not question the fact that you were going to destroy an entire civilization if you had to launch those ICBMs. As heartless as it sounds, I never had a problem with it. I was doing it for my country. I was doing it to protect my country. The whole reason I sat out there was to prevent that kind of thing from happening. That's what deterrence was about. But deterrence is worthless if you don't demonstrate that you're willing to do it, too. And we always had to demonstrate that I would walk out there and turn those keys in a second, and I would kill 10 million people and never hesitate. Every time I went on to a complex, every time I saw a Titan II missile, I had the same sense of excitement. You couldn't see the warhead from the bottom because you were eight stories down, and the cone of the warhead disappeared off in the distance. The warhead on top of the Titan II was three times as powerful as all the bombs used by all of the armies in the Second World War, including both the atomic bombs. When the crew members successfully turned the keys, the 330,000-pound missile would lift up out of the silo. And it would head out for about five minutes of powered flight to the edge of space, fly for another 20 minutes, and hit its target halfway around the world. Before September 18th, the only warheads that we thought would go off in the United States would be Soviet warheads. We never considered that our own warheads could detonate on our own continent. <laughs> 